Graffiti concerns are growing in New York City tonight and is enough being done to clean up these neighborhood eyesores. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez reports. Graffiti. It's seemingly everywhere in New York City. No neighborhood is immune. I think it's visually assaulting. State Senator Tony Avella of Queens says after requesting graffiti removal in his district, he discovered the cleanup on city property had taken a back seat to other priorities. The fact that now the city under the Mayor de Blasio and the Department of Transportation has chosen not to respond to graffiti uh, requests unless it's of uh, profane nature or racist nature, uh, is highly unacceptable. Senator Avella says DOT Commissioner Polly Trottenberg told him the city couldn't respond to all the graffiti complaints because the agency was concentrating all its resources on the mayor's Vision Zero plan. But Commissioner Trottenberg tells us that's simply not true. I don't understand that. The, 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 they're unrelated. Um, we have not had funds to clean the graffiti off every light post in New York City all the time. Trottenberg sent a letter to Avella responding to his concern, saying it is difficult for DOT to expend many precious resources for the removal of graffiti at the expense of needed maintenance and transportation improvements. But the commissioner says the city's Economic Development Corporation, or EDC, is ensuring vandalism is addressed. The mayor's most recent budget, he has put a lot of funding into EDC, and we're going to be working closely with them to target areas where we're seeing a lot of graffiti. Do most New Yorkers think graffiti cleanup should be a top priority? Well, yeah, but no, and there's so many other things wrong. I do think the city should take care of it. Yes. Crews are contracted to clean graffiti on city property every five years, but for some who find it in their neighborhood, that isn't soon enough. In Astoria, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Now, the city did announce an expanded graffiti cleanup initiative in February that will include removing graffiti from public and private structures.